She spent like yeah. thirty dollars on me. Right. Thirty three dollars on me. Uh, and check it, hookers are not sinners. How you doing, sir? They do what they you. gotta do. Well, if you say it's okay to be a prostitute, you can't be a Christian and say that. Hey. That's that's an oxymoron, right? No, you, it ain't. The Bible says, "He that whosoever committeth sin, listen, transgresseth what, also the law. For hooker, sin is the transgression of the law." Would a hooker give First me John a forty chapter ounce? Three. Hey, I asked for the forty ounce, but they gave me this. Okay. Is that righteous? No, man. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I wanted a 40 ounce of liquor. Malt liquor. How many Democrat Christians we got here tonight? Any Democrat Christians? I don't know where you're from, but hookers. Uh, that's an hook oxymoron. You can't be a Democrat and a Christian. Oh, okay. Just like being a homosexual Christian, that's an oxymoron. Yeah. It's impossible. Because if you're sinning at the same time. Wait, now I got I got I got to Yeah, give me a question. What you get? You have a question, sir? Well, I, I just need to be the devil's advocate. Uh oh. So you I, said you cannot be a Democrat and, and a Christian at the same time. But don't Democrats support abortion? Well, that's murdering a baby. That'd be going against okay, I'm life. Not, I'm not disagreeing with you. Okay. But when it comes to politics, that's strike one. No. I'll, yeah. Because yeah, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> what about homosexual marriage? That's against the Bible. I Democrats agree. support that, right? But when it comes to the government. Yeah. I'll catch up with you. I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions. I'm just a Bible believing Christian. No, no. Normal Christian, I'm a King James Bible believing Christian. Yeah. I, I, Me too. It's not my I'm opinion. Just... I don't substitute my opinion. I represent the Bible as a Bible believer. I'm not asking. Because I love Jesus. I'm not asking. That's right. Okay. First off, let me tell you is that I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat. Okay. I am a Christian. Okay. But I'm an independent. Okay. Do you believe the Bible is the Word of God? Absolutely. About the King James Bible, we believe it's the Word of God. Well, I think King James, I think other translations. Uh -oh. word. Yeah, a lot of people even believe the Queen James Bible is the Word well, of God. No, no, I never said that. You ever heard of that one? Yeah, the I'm Queen not. James Bible. Okay. The devil's making Bibles. Uh, I know that's. You got to get a King James but, Bible but, to speak but, English. But for sure. you, you're not aware that King James was a pedophile. Oh no, you that's a that's it. a lie. It is not a lie. See, there you go, it is man. Not. Attacking God's holy word, the I'm King James not. Bible. That's what the devil does. You know, the devil said, "Half God said." Did God really say that? That's what the devil so what, says. Okay, well, let me ask you this: With that now, kind of reasoning, then no yeah. other language Bible works. Well, so then the Spanish Bible. Oh, no, there's the Spanish the Bible. This word, the word of the, God. But, yeah. but it's not King James. So how does it work? It, you see, see, the, all the, scripture the, is given by inspiration of I God, realize that, but and you're, it's you're trying to tell me. But when, when, when I, your doctrine have, goes against look, God, then that's friend, it. Yeah, my I friend, mean, I'm a Christian. I have a doctorate in just theology. Just because, just because you go I to a church doesn't make you a Christian. I'm not saying that. You can say. So you're a you Bible can, corrector, not a Bible believer. No, I'm correcting you because you're not telling the whole truth. Do you think it's okay to be gay? No. Good. He's. I. Because if you think it's okay to be gay, that would be hate speech. Because homosexuality is a hate crime. No, I'm telling you, but what about loving homosexuals? Because those homosexuals are spreading deadly diseases, like AIDS. They're giving each other prolapse rectums. That's when your insides become your outsides. This is extreme. Ouch! So you ought to love your neighbor and tell your homosexual neighbor to repent of their sin so they don't get AIDS. Die and go to hell. And, and, because if you just your, your, your neighbor is sinning, let us reason you gotta, you gotta re don't let us tell them to repent. No, that would be the loving thing to do. What about heterosexual people with AIDS? Well, they, it happens, you know, there's there's disease in the world, you know, but you gotta take precautions not to get one. You just told me that AIDS is called AIDS. It is a gay disease. Most most AIDS. That's not true, is it? AIDS is not a gay disease. Most people get AIDS. For no, the most part, are homosexual. That's not true, is it? That's not all cases, but the most part. So are you saying that? If you, if you, saying you that, can look it up. Okay. I'm, on your side, I'm just saying that if you, if you say yeah. AIDS, is a, AIDS is homosexual disease, are you saying primarily that yes? So anyone that gets AIDS, is God hates. Not, is what you're saying. God, no, God hates well, the Bible says God hates all workers of iniquity. And God is angry with the wicked every day. It says that if you work in the Sabbath, you should be stoned to death. So well. Jesus is the Sabbath. He fulfilled the Sabbath. He is my Sabbath. I rest in Jesus. Oh, no, you know, I don't have to keep oh, okay, a so Jewish Sabbath Bible. anymore. Well, that's fine. But, that's, so that's, so we're so not under the law of Moses anymore. Who, anymore. Who fornicates? Are they stoned to death? Well, well if you're a fornicator, you need, you need to repent. Like all sin, you should repent. 
because Jesus died on the cross to forgive you of your sin if you repent of your sin. But if you persist in it, God will give you what you deserve and you deserve to go to hell, sinners. All sinners deserve to go to hell. I deserve to go to hell. I deserve to go to hell. I'm not sinning right now. Preaching the gospel is not a sin. We're, we're commanded. Well, well, I don't take advice from women because women should be quiet in the church. What? Where's your husband? Is this your husband? Is this your husband? Hey, knock him out. All right, come on. That would be wicked. There you go. What I was about to say before you really no, I'm preaching. Well, no, I don't well, take no, advice no, from women. I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry. Be, yes, be respectful and talk to them. Don't, don't, no. don't stand on the street corners and say, we're in church and you're not going to listen yeah. to women. All right? All right. So, no, no please, please be respectful and don't turn it off because you don't want to hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I, want to, I want to get you on my YouTube. Okay. You're going to be a YouTube star. Good. 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 Yeah, He's actually go. sinning right now. How am I sinning, ma'am? Thank you for actually finally listening to me. Because in the Bible, it also states at one point you have to wear one type of clothing. That's Old Testament Jewish law. I'm not a Jew. And well, we're not under the, the law of the, Moses the King, any longer. King, King James Bible has both Bible and Old Testament and New Testament. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you'll say the Old Testament. There's 66 books, actually. So the Old Testament means rubbish, is what you're saying? The Old Testament it's not doesn't rubbish. count. No, it's instruction of righteousness, but we're not under that dispensation any longer. So what you're saying is what God wrote before yeah. is wrong, and now it's right. No. So God made a mistake before. It's okay if I want to get circumcised or have a dietary plan. That's okay if I want to not mix those things. Like That's not a sin right? not to mix. I mean, you can do the okay, things no, of the Old Testament right. law. But what I'm saying is that... But it's not going to save you by doing those works. Well, God doesn't mind. The only thing that saves you is repenting of your sin and following Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life. That's it. Not works. So it's what, by what, grace, so through what faith. what happens if you get born in a different country and you, and you get brought up a Muslim? If you're born a Muslim? Yeah. Well, you're born into a wicked cult. It's a satanic religion of death. Well, so, but, but, so what you're saying is the children, they're getting born into there. God yeah. hates them before well, they get there. No, so little God, babies God, are God. innocent. Little children are innocent. But they die, they go to heaven. They haven't so sinned against what, God. At what stage do they, you get do they a, become... You get a conscience given what by stage, God. At what stage, though? How, how old? God gives you a conscience. At some point, you know you're sinning uh, against then? your parents. There's no set age. It depends on the child. Okay, so when the what? child knows they're sinning against their own conscience and, what, what and their parents and God, then they're, God says they're, they're responsible. Yeah. But God will never put anybody into hell without giving them the gospel. And, and he'll send an angel or okay, a so vision what, so what, so what or a dream. They, I believe they, that. What if they've never seen the God Bible before? Because not everyone sees the Bible. Uh, maybe he'll give them a dream or a vision and a, or an angel will visit. Yeah. It happens. But it doesn't or a street preacher will tell them to repent and believe. I mean, you'll, you'll never go to hell without hearing the gospel. I mean, like you're, well, if you go to hell, it's not my fault. I told you to repent of your sin and follow Jesus Christ and live your life. Because well, that's I, what I, the Bible I, says. But I don't follow the Bible, I follow my own moral code, which has basically well, that, very similar, that, that, but it's not going to save Jesus. you. Well, it, nothing's going to save me because, you know, okay. it's not. Do you think it's okay to be a homosexual? Yes. Yes, I'm not. No, it's, it's not. not. Why it's not. not? Because that's, it's yeah, what, against what nature. What you're doing is you're now hate preaching. You're, See, you're no, now it's not. You're the now Bible says, ye that love the Lord hate evil. Actually, you're the Bible commanded doesn't, to hate. The Bible doesn't say anything about, about homosexuality. So, the Bible says nothing. Yeah, show, show me. Show, you've got the Bible. Show me. Show me the Bible that says anything about homosexuality. Please do. I'm, 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 I'm like to well, see Well, it says a man shall not lie with a man as he no, does no, a woman. No, that's the Old Testament. Yeah, that's a moral law. That's the Old that's Testament. That's a moral law. It doesn't pass away. You just told us the moral You just told me the Old Testament doesn't count. Show, well, in show Romans me. chapter 1, it talks about show, show, homosexuality show, show, and, and, and 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Show me. That's fine. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'll take it. Yeah. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Fornicators, effeminate men, abusers of themselves with mankind. That would be homosexuality. Right? If he says that, if he says that I'll okay. be intrigued. Show okay. me. If I can find my glasses. I can read it. If you show me the other page, I'll read it to you. Hang on. Let's see if I got my glasses here. I have my glasses, really. Must be God's will. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I had my glasses earlier. Really. I left them in my car. That happens sometimes. But it's 1 Corinthians chapter 6. You want to read it? You're not going to run away with my Bible. No, I'm not going to run away with my Bible. 1 Corinthians I, I, chapter 6. I have respect six. for other people. Okay, I appreciate that. I'll let you read it. So, Go ahead, my friend. Where is it? Some people, are, some people don't want to test the Bible. 1 Corinthians after Romans. 1 Corinthians, next book. Chapter 6, verses 9. So it's 1 Corinthians 6, 9. That should be easy for fornicators to remember. You know, because it's 6, 9. Well, I, I uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Fornicators shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And then let's read on. What's, what other people? It's a little list. It's not exhausted, exhausted completely, but shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And then it says, and such were some of you. You can be a former fornicator, former effeminate man, or abuser of yourself with mankind. God forgives homosexuality. It's not the unforgivable sin. Chapter 6, verse 9. Yep. 
as unknown and yet well known as dying. This is not first print, yeah. Oh, second print, okay, fine. Let's, let's, you you thought, okay. Let's go. First, okay, first print. We're going this way. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm spreading the love and I'm also here to spread the hate. Well, apparently so. Because okay. there's no, good need. love and then there's bad love and then there's good hate and bad hate. Like if you love to get wasted, that's bad love. Well, well, it could mean a, a sissy boy, man, you know? A guy that acts like a girl, like a homosexual, possible. You don't even have to be a homosexual. You can be a feminine, man, and just, you know, a guy that walks around in pink. He may not you, be a sodomite, but... Are you married? I am. Okay, good. What's your ring? Uh, right now, I'm not wearing it. Because okay. I went surfing, and I don't want to lose it. Well, okay, fair enough. Sorry, given your coming, <laughs> yes, um, which shorts are sort of like a dark salmon? Are, are these, are these, are these a feminine? Uh, I, would, I wouldn't call you a homosexual for having your But you just said men who wear pink are as bad as homosexual. Uh, there's some guys that wear pink, like little things in their hair. I mean, they're just clearly trying to be effeminate. You know? Maybe they wear a dress. Maybe there's some boys that are cross-dressers. That's a feminine. And then there's women that are masculine. Um, they should, women are not, not or shouldn't dress like men. Okay, I, I would argue that, that, that that's not because I, I would ask you unless you've read unless that's in the I'm Hebrew, you need to read that in the original in the original no, text. The, the King James Bible is far superior to the original well, language because the Bible grew just like Jesus did. Jesus is the Word of God. But Jesus, it grew but, and, it, Jesus, and this Jesus is, hasn't been to, hasn't been hasn't been. This here is the mature years. man, the English. But Jesus hasn't been here for years. Bible. I come to you. Yeah, this is what's but that's forever not, settled no, in heaven. This King James Bible. That's how. Can we? You want to sing the Jesus song? 